Okay, so we are at Harper Municipal Airport where gas is super cheap at $4.05 per gallon. 100 low lead and they have motor gas. I don't know what they use the motor gas for. Maybe the Piper Cubs uh, can take it. Cornfields everywhere. We already did our run up. Everything was good. We have our flight plan laid in. We have all of the uh, VFR waypoints listed that are on the uh, arrival. Last time I checked, they were using the Green Lake. Shippers way over here, 5,500 feet. Boy, you'll have one parachute over the field. Hartford traffic, experimental 713 is departing 27. Hartford. Accelerating oh, to BY. The new Holstein number two, Hunter Keys behind the Super Cup for runway four. New Holstein. Our traffic experimental 713 is turning uh, crosswind for 27 Harper. Yeah, all in traffic number three, crossing uh, for runway four, leave traffic, you all in. Actually, 2-2 two two is a better choice, you guys. Harford, traffic experimental, 713 is turning downwind, 27 Harford. It is? Yep. Okay, good call, I see that now, thank you. The flag. And the wind stop. If you want to go right to left downwind for runway, Sean, you can. Land one. And I'll follow you guys around. See you all soon. Hotshot arrival information, Bravo 2053 Zulu weather, wind 2108, visibility 9. Temperature 31, dew point 22, altimeter is 29er, 9er, 9er. Our nav and the VUR runway 27 approach in use. VFR arrival procedures in effect. Puckaway Lake transition in use. Runway 27 and runway 18 right in use. Monitor off test approach frequency 120.7 for runway assignment and frequency. Okay, so we heard that Puckaway Lake transition is the uh, transition point where aircraft are supposed to enter the uh, arrival path. As the flight path gets filled up, they then activate the next lake over out to the west. Huge Congo line all the way in. All right, everybody coming into Oshkosh today. We're arriving runways 1, 8, right and 2, 7. Please be familiar with the notice by the time you get here. We're entering the uh, the fisk arrival at Puckaway Lake, fly to the south side of the lake, follow Lake Shore, find somebody to follow, half mile in trail please. If you can't do the half mile, give it up and go back. Um, we'll uh, split you off here and then if you can't find somebody that, to follow and maintain that space, you're going to have to go back anyway. We will pick you out by type and color if possible, a little hard to look into the sun to pick out the right color, but uh, if we're close and you're within a half mile fisk, I'm probably talking to you. If you're over fisk, I'm definitely talking to you, and if you're three miles out, I'm not.
We're sequencing. This guy in front of me is about one mile in front of me. Uh, he's a little bit high. I'm at 1,800 feet, which is where I should be. He might be uh, 50 feet above me. Not a big deal. He is under one mile. Fly a uh, high wing over flying uh, just a half mile southwest of Fisk right now. That looks like maybe a twin. What kind of airplane is that? That's a Techno Twin, sir. Techno Twin, awesome. Uh, which air runway would you like? 18 or 27? Uh, go for 27. Roger, continue down the railroad tracks. Maintain your altitude until you're beam the gravel pit where you're going to start your downwind. And monitor the tower ball 8.5. Thanks for coming to the show. That's a cool plane. Thank you. That is a cool plane. So as I'm flying, so I got four of you right now, about a mile south of west of Fisk. You're not a flight, are you? So as I'm finding out here, the real confusion is your entry at the transition point back there. Once you're on the on the arrival route, it's not a big deal. Your single file speed up a little bit or pull back a little bit by a couple knots. Uh, you're supposed to be at 1,890 knots. I can see two aircraft in front of me. The closest one in front of me is approximately one mile, and the next one in front of him is two miles out. So we should be minimum half a mile. So we're fine here. The guy behind me is, looks like he's about two miles behind me. So arriving on a Friday, Friday or Saturday is probably the way to do it. Got a low wing about a mile west southwest of Fisk with uh, wigwags both ends. Talk to me. Which uh, I see the wing rock. Thank you. Which runway would you like? Two seven one eight right. Two seven. All right. Continue up the railroad tracks for wigwag man and enter the uh, right downwind inside the gravel pit for runway two seven. Maintain altitude till the gravel pit and monitor the tower one eight point five. Thanks for coming, Ash. Guys. All right. Attention all aircraft in bags in the grass, please. Traffic's behind. And in the grass. Thank you. Nice job. Beautiful job, Bonanza. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we switched over to tower, and we're... Uh... In the Bonanza, when you got it under control, turn left into the grass, follow the flagman, enjoy the show. Thank you, sir. Aircraft inbound from the southwest for 2-7, end of the right downwind, inside the gravel pit, 1,800 feet till you're in that downwind, plan a tight right base turn, a beam the orange dot. Oshkosh is in sight. Cal 39, are you single ship, sir? Permit. Uh, coming up on Warbird Island. Cal 39, uh, Roger, uh, keep the speed up uh, till you turn final. And uh, uh, a two mile initial, 2,000 feet. See that, we'll go uh, L39. Cal 39, expect a right break. Going up the railroad tracks now. Aircraft coming up over the gravel pit, start your descent. It's very nice, I can see where the aircraft are that he's talking to, so I know when I get to that point to expect him to say something. Aircraft to me. on the runway, nice job, appreciate the help, and uh, turn left into the grass, monitor the flagman. Correction, follow the flagman. Test on the downwind, start your descent. Start your base, point to the orange dot, clear to land at or after the green dot, 27. 
Nice turn. L39, uh, one mile niche now, one mile niche, she'll break uh, midfield. Okay, uh, we'll report one mile initial and uh, we'll break midfield. L39. Descent midfield. We'll begin our descent midfield and we're turning before the gravel pit. Gravel pit is in sight, you, you can't miss it. L39, do you have smoke? A negative. Okay. And you're inside, sir, Roger. Be nice, copy. AP off. L39, right break at the numbers, runway uh, 27, clear to land. At the numbers, 27, clear to land, L39. L39, when you're in the downwind, then start that descent. Correction, descent your discretion now for the L39. Nice job, sir, looking good. Low wing, over the gravel pit, start your descent. L39, just check your down. He was talking about me. Neptune Oscar Tower, Arrow E09, or Mike is four miles outside, uh, Penna inbound, R now, T7. Area 09, or Mike, gosh, gosh, report two mile final. We're going to put the bus okay, down now. Report two mile final, E09, or Mike. Midfield down, I need to start your descent, sir. Start that descent. Can we turn to base shortly? Past the downward approaching base, is that a bird dog? Seth, uh, beam the orange dot, start your base. Turn all the way to the orange dot. Keep the turn coming to the orange dot. 27 clear to land. Five hundred. Silver, low wing on the base. Nice job, nice job. You can keep that turn coming. Why don't you land at her after the green dot? Welcome to the show. L39, it was a little hard to read. Where do you park? Can you do the right? Do you need the right turn? Uh, we'll do the right turn, and uh, we're going to go to the uh, Warbird jet ramp. L39, turn right, and monitor the flag one. Yeah. RV, clear to land on the green dot. Keep it in the air, down the runway. Right turn, and keep it on the green dot. L39, follow the fly with us on the downwind, search to do Cessna, keep that turn. Cessna in the base, direct to the orange dot. Clear to land green dot, 27. Cessna, keep that turn coming. You're leveling up. Keep the turn coming. Tighter turn, tighter turn, orange dot, land on the green. Oscar Tower, Gold Eagle, 4-2 Bravo, Charlie with you. 